All right, here is our treadmill motor. It is firmly clamped, securely clamped into a vise which is securely fastened to the workbench. No worries about that going anywhere. We have AC line voltage which is connected and ready to go. We have DC connection to the motor off the controller. I didn't hook up the thermal switch on this particular run just to uh, eliminate it as a culprit should something not work properly. And then we have what I believe is a 250k linear taper pot hooked to the potentiometer terminals which is going to control a 24 volt DC supply to the controller. So I'm going to put this on the tripod and we shall see together if this rig works. Got a little piece of tape right there so we can kind of check rotation speed. I don't have a tack or anything to check it with but it'll give us a good visual. So I'm going to put this on the tripod and we'll see where we are. <clears throat> Alright, so we are wired up. We are ready to go. Right now, with the pot turned all the way down, I don't have any LEDs showing on the controller, which, as I understand it, tells me there is no speed control present, there's no DC voltage being received by the controller, and the SCRs are not switching. As soon as I apply the current to, or a voltage to those terminals, we'll see those, well, you won't see them, but they will come on. So right now, there we go. giving it a little more juice. Mm, not a whole lot happening there. It's not really gaining any speed. So everything is still intact here. No magic smoke released from the electronics or from the motor, which is a good thing. My initial feeling about this setup is that it this motor is far too powerful for a feed table. Probably better suited for a drill press or CNC mill, something that needs some pretty high revs. Um, unless just putting it under a load really uh, reins it in. I seriously doubt this motor is going to work. But the controller is good and I can certainly use that find a little tamer motor. This one's rated I believe at two and a half horsepower in the I think 6,000 RPM range. So there we have it. Yay, it works. <laughs>